again, Tom McGuire. Just want to take the time to do a quick review on the book How Westminster Works and Why It Doesn't by someone called Ian Dunt. Really interesting book. I actually think this is a book that everyone in the UK should read or listen to at some point. I think we're at a severe case of um, despondency and kind of ignoring things at the moment. I think so many of us look at the political situation, look at our leaders and just feel as though they're all hypocrites, they're all out to serve themselves. Things, if they ever change, change very briefly and then go back to the status quo very quickly. And I kind of understand why people just feel that politicians are all the same. It's a waste of time. <clears throat> why bother wasting my time? I'm going to get sort of shut on from a great height no matter what. And I understand that. But I think what I've come to realise in recent years is that we have to take more of an interest and we have to be less scared to speak up and to vote. It's very easy just to say they're all the same, they're all useless, but actually when things go wrong, when certain decisions are made, we are all partly responsible. We, we do need to take more of an active interest in what's going on. And I think this book is quite enlightening. I think it's well balanced. I think Ian Dunt has a reputation for being quite independent as a political journalist. He's got stuff out there on YouTube. He's got a podcast at the moment. I don't really know any of his stuff very well, to be fair. Um, but it's a book that kind of reminds me a little bit of Taxtopia, which I reviewed a little while back. A bit of an expose on the reality of how things actually are, how the system works. A little bit like Rory Stewart's Politics on the Edge, which I really, really liked. That's got quite a few thousand views, that review. Um, hopefully I've helped him sell a few books there. No, I like Rory Stewart. I think he's quite good. He's very balanced and considered. And he talks about the realities of Westminster and realities of the way uh, the politicians behave, etc., and Ian Dunt sort of does a similar thing here, but in a slightly different way. Um, it's good as an audio book. I've read a lot of books recently, but as I said in my last review, I'm reading a lot of classics, Moby Dick, Middlemarch, The Great Gatsby, Great Expectations, loads of stuff that I've absolutely loved reading this year, and I intend to carry on with that. But I don't want to give up on the personal development type stuff as well, and the non-fiction type stuff, because I still have a place in my heart for those kind of books. I still enjoy those kind of books. I think that non-fiction comes across really well in audio format quite often as well um, so I'm always going to do a bit of a mix of listening to books and reading as well I spend a lot of time on the road for my business as well so listening to audio books is really helpful it's a good way of getting more books listened to read whatever and I just enjoy it but I definitely recommend this one I think as far as the, this type of book goes it's very very interesting particularly if you're in the UK if you're not in the UK and you just want to have a bit of an insight into how things are here it's interesting as well and I think a lot of the stuff that's relevant to here is relevant in other countries as well, to be fair. It is all about human nature and power and corruption, which, is, let's face it, is something that's spread across the whole globe at the end of the day. And we do all become interconnected and we do, or we are supposed to be working together to some degree. So what happens in one country does matter to what happens in another country. There is something relevant about that, I think. And I think we all should become, globally, we should all become more interested in politics for the right reasons, hopefully. Ian Dunt apparently conducted hundreds of interviews of politicians um, and people involved in politics for this one. And it's quite telling, apparently, that many of the politicians he interviewed wanted to remain anonymous, which kind of speaks volumes about how scared they are of uh, being exposed or saying something wrong. And then the party being cross at them or disciplining them or them being less capable of, of, of getting a promotion, potentially, and which is something that Rory Stewart talks about in his book as well. One thing that I found really interesting, he praises the House of Lords. So the House of Lords is something in Britain that a lot of people are quite cross about because it's about people just kind of being born into positions of privilege and then, you know, work, be becoming a lord and having a say on things. And it's about this whole kind of patriarchal, privileged, um, you know, passing wealth down generationally, etc., etc., that lots of people disapprove of, royal family and all that sort of stuff. But he, Ian Dunt, makes the point that the House of Lords actually kind of keeps the politicians in um, the House of Commons fairly honest in that he makes the point that a lot of politicians are generalists. They're not often experts in any particular field, but he makes the point that the House of Lords is made up of experts. So quite often um, Parliament will try and put something through the House of Lords and you'll have an expert in there who turns around and says that isn't going to work for this, this and this reason. So actually in some ways it kind of keeps things a bit um honest it brings them down to earth a little bit and he sees it as something that if it wasn't there 
a lot of the people working, a lot of the politicians who don't really have that expertise would have a bit more power. So he kind of sees that as a good thing. I thought that was quite interesting. But I recommend this book. Um, I will be doing more reviews soon. I'm listening to, at the moment, a book called The Trading Game, I think it is, by Gary. He's a, he's a guy who does Gary, Gary Economics on YouTube. He's really, really good. Um, I'll edit, edit the name of that in afterwards because I can't remember off the, top of my name, off the top of my head, but that's a really good one. Thanks for listening. Keep subscribing. Speak soon.